Hi there, I got some unwanted mail a while ago and I thought I would talk about it here because it might make my views on racism and bigotry crystal clear because apparently they haven't been. This video does contain some swearing and strong opinions so you've been warned. On August 19 I got a padded envelope in my mailbox with my business address on the outside of it so I thought it was some business mail. Little did I know that it would occupy my thoughts for several days. The envelope didn't have a return address on it and inside there was only a USB stick. I opened it after scanning it for virus, viruses etc of course and it had nothing to do with business at all. It had two files on it, a text file with a short greeting, the name and the address of the sender, and a video file called episode 1. I hope I will never see episode 2. This video file shows a man sitting in front of a Nazi flag and he speaks of things like christening being murder, his his views on Jews and other bullshit like that. It also lets me know where he found me. If you want to watch it, the link is in the description, but I warn you, it's sickening. I had to force myself to watch the whole video to make sure that he didn't utter any threats towards me or my loved ones, which he didn't. But watching the video was fucking sickening to put it mildly. If you've followed me for a while you know that I run a website called the Witch's Library which is a pagan website with a bunch of information on divination, runes, witchcraft, herbs and things like that. He has apparently followed this website for some time and has a tattoo of one of the symbols from it on one of his arms. Now I have publicly made my views clear in interviews, blog posts, newsletters, on social media, in conversations. I have no desire whatsoever to be associated with racists, bigots, fanatics or those who do harm to others, whether it's humans or animals. How this wasn't clear to him, I do not know. I have never said anything even close to what he was saying in that video. And I have never written anything similar either. I am not a fucking racist. I love that we have a multicultural, multi-ethnic society. I think it's a good thing. I don't judge people by their ethnicity, religion, gender identification, or sexual orientation. People can do whatever the hell they want in my opinion. As long as they don't harm others and don't force their views on others. And when it comes to sex there needs to be adult, informed consent. Other than that I don't care what you do. I judge people by their words and their actions. I'm fine with people not having the same beliefs as I do. I think it's great. As long as they don't try to convert others and don't go telling children that it's the only truth. I have a bunch of friends with different beliefs or lack thereof and we talk just fine. I don't see the problem of people having different beliefs. It's possible to agree to disagree, and it's po possible to discuss our different views. I treat people of different ethnicities as I would want to be treated. I don't treat other ethnicities different than, let's say, white people. Even if there are differences between white people too. I don't care what color your skin is or where you grew up as long as you're a nice person. If you're an asshole, I am going to treat you like an asshole, regardless of your origin. 
to put it like that. Many of my friends are also in the LGBTQ plus category and they're great people. I don't do the same as them in my sex life, but that doesn't matter to me. Love is love and they do what feels right to them. With adult informed consent, of course. Should there be anyone out there who doesn't believe I do have friends in different ethnic groups, religions, and the LGBTQ plus communities, just look at my friends list on Facebook. That should give you a big clue. <laughs> One way I try to keep the not so nice people away from me, uh, at least on Facebook, is by posting these opinions publicly. Like I might post a picture of two men kissing and that way my friends list cleans itself. That's a tip for you if you have a problem with the racists and bigots hanging around your friends list. Post something they won't like and they'll go away. Or they will expose themselves for who they are. Sorry for the rant but I hope this video makes it crystal clear that I do not in any way agree with racists bigots, fanatics, anyone who thinks they're better than others because of where they grew up or what they believe in. Getting this in the mail was totally sickening. I thought about it for quite a while. I hope I never get anything like this in the mail again. Needless to say, I sent the materials on to the security department at the police in case they want to know what this guy is up to. If you sat through all this, thank you. I promise there won't be too many videos like this one. I'll be back with something nicer next week. Bye-bye.